If you like clapping along, clap along. If you like singing along, feel free to sing along. It goes a little something like this.
Tom Pereira here on the drums, Sam Watts here on the bass guitar, we are the Justin Yap Trio. Uh, all three songs that we'll be playing tonight are all brand new songs that we've written. Um, and yeah, welcome. Um, I'm obviously a little bit more used to being on this side of the stage and often having uh, someone much better looking than me singing the songs. Um, but I tried, I tried tonight, you know, I've got my, my suit on. It is very tight though, and it is very hot, and I am doing twice the work now. So if I like fall over, I'm not doing a bit, I'm not doing a James Brown thing, I am. I do need help, so you know, don't, don't be afraid to come help me out if I, if I need it as well. So just let me catch my breath a bit, let's uh, slow things down a little bit. Uh, with this one called At Your Mercy.
So if you've seen me play around before, you've probably seen me with this particular guitar. It is my favorite guitar. Uh, it's a Gibson Les Paul Standard uh, 91, which is a birth year for me, so very really special. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, but I think what a lot of people don't know is uh, behind, there's actually a pretty special signature to me here as well. Uh, so that's the signature of the great, I guess, British New Orleans musician, uh, John Cleary. Uh, I, yeah, I know there's plenty of fans in the, in the audience because I've been in the crowd with you guys as well whenever he comes to Melbourne. Um, yeah, just a quick story there. Uh, I did get to share the stage, not share the stage, but share the bill with him uh, in Wangaratta a couple of years ago. Um, and I know what, what everyone's thinking. Oh yeah, so backstage, you know, you met him and you got to get the signature and all that sort of stuff. But no, because uh, he was a bit too uh, chicken shit to actually approach him backstage. He, he looked busy. He was on his laptop. He, I think they just arrived from America and then, you know, they, did, they looked like they didn't want to be bothered. So, uh, uh, so instead I started p pestering um, the, the great, great Helen Jennings, who's the stage manager there and uh, obviously uh, one of the best people, I'd say, in the, in the blues community. Uh, yeah, so I got her to, to introduce me to him as well. So, yeah. And now you think, you think that's, okay, that's when he got his signature, right? But no, I was too, I was so starstruck, I was so freaked out uh, that I didn't actually get, get it, the signature done. So I actually bought a ticket uh, to his Melbourne show uh, like this with me and copped lots of very dirty looks from everyone else in the audience. Just like, what the hell is this guy doing with his guitar? Like, like, um, but no, I persevered. And uh, yeah, at the end of the show, when he was signing merch, you know, I brought this out of the case and I was like, I'm so sorry to do this. We met, you know, last week, but uh, can you please sign this for me? And yeah, I had a bit of a chat about the guitar and about music stuff and yeah, one of my heroes. And um, yeah, a lot of great kind of blues music does come out of New Orleans. and. Uh, this next song is going to be, uh, again, one of our songs, but uh, kind of inspired by that sort of stuff as well. Thank you. 